One of the problems I have when scraping or automating websites are anti-bot protection services like Cloudflare or CapTest. If you've seen this screen when logging to ChatGPT, you already know what I'm talking about. If you're a real person, you'll easily pass these tests, but if you're using an automation tool like Selenium, your bot will get stuck. So in this video, I'll show you how ChatGPT helped me bypass Cloudflare and CapChats. So let's get started. Disclaimer, bypassing CapChats is prohibited on most websites by their TOS. This video is only for educational purposes. Do not use this in any harmful way. Okay, let's start by bypassing Cloudflare. If you go to ChatGPT and ask the question how to bypass Cloudflare, it's not going to work. It's going to give you some suggestions that actually don't work or ChatGPT is going to tell you that it can help you with this type of things. So what we have to do is be very specific with the library we want to use to bypass Cloudflare. In this case, I'm going to use a Python library called Undetected Chrome Driver. And what I have to do is write the following. Use the Python library Undetected Chrome Driver to bypass Cloudflare. And if I press enter, we're going to see the code that we can use for this. Okay, ChatGPT finished generating the code and here it's giving me the steps to use this library called Undetected Chrome Driver. And basically it's telling me that Undetected Chrome Driver is a Python package designed to bypass Cloudflare. And here it's giving me the steps on how to use this library. So first we have to install this library. We need to have Selenium, which is the automation tool and undetected Chrome driver, which is the library that allows us to uh, bypass Cloudflare. Then what we have to do is use this script just to get started. So I'm going to copy this and this is the script we can use to bypass Cloudflare. Actually, we don't need all the elements. So I'm going to delete the elements that we are not going to need for this tutorial. So for example, this is not necessary. I also added a wait of 100 seconds because sometimes it automatically closes the window and I don't want that. And finally, I'm going to change the, the name of the website here. Instead of example.com, I'm going to write chatgpt or chat.openai.com. So this is the website. And before I run this, I'm going to show you what happens if we run just the average uh, Selenium script that we usually use. So if I run this without using the undetected Chrome driver, we get this. So we have to verify if we are human and this is an infinite loop. So we cannot uh, verify this because Cloudflare knows that we're using Selenium. So this is an, like an infinite loop. We cannot bypass this. So I'm going to quit this one. And if we use this script that we copied and pasted, so this is the script that, that ChatGPT generated, we're going to get the website, but we're not going to see Cloudflare. So this is uh, Chrome driver. Then we're going to chat.openai.com and we bypassed Cloudflare. This is just the message that ChatGPT set capacity right now. But if we refresh this, probably we're going to see, yeah, the welcome to ChatGPT page. So we bypassed Cloudflare in this website. And this is not the only website that uses Cloudflare. There are other websites that use this service for protection. For example, I found that also the website Udemy uses Cloudflare. And well, if you're trying to automate a website that has Cloudflare, now you know that you can use a detected Chrome driver to bypass this service. Okay, now the second thing I want to show you is how to bypass CAPTCHAs. So if you go to ChatGPT again, to the website of ChatGPT, and you click on sign up or login, in this case, I'm going to click on login, you're going to see this, this page and here you see a CAPTCHA. So if we pass this CAPTCHA, we'll be able to log in or to sign up and create a new account. And you can easily pass this step if you're a real person, but if you're using an automation tool like Selenium, you won't be able to pass this CAPTCHA. Even if you're using the undetected Chrome driver that I showed you before, you won't be able to pass this CAPTCHA. And this type of CAPTCHA is not only present on this website, but on Discord and also on Google. So I'm not an expert on bypassing CAPTCHAs, so what I did before and what I'm going to do now is ask ChatGPT how to bypass a CAPTCHA. So I'm going to uh, write this. So here I'm, I'm writing how to avoid seeing CAPTCHAs uh, with Selenium. And this is a very simple question. I want to know what step I can follow to bypass a CAPTCHA with Selenium. Okay, ChatGPT gave me six tips and they are actually not bad tips. They actually help you prevent seeing CAPTCHAs. But in websites like uh, ChatGPT, 
here, this captcha is gonna show up regardless of what you do. If you're a human, you're gonna see this captcha, and if you're a bot, you're still gonna see this captcha. So most of the tips that ChatGPT gave here are not so useful. And I found that tip number five useful for any case is this one. Use a captcha solving service. If you find that you're frequently encountering captchas, you can use a service like anti-captcha or to captcha. And these are paid services, but they are very cheap. For example, here I'm in the website of 2Captcha, and by the way, this is not any kind of sponsor. You can use uh, the other service, which is anti-captcha, but I just created an account on 2Captcha, and well, the prices are very cheap. So for $1, you can get, for example, 501 solutions for reCAPTCHA version 2, which is the version that most websites use. But in the case of Discord, I think they use HCAPTCHA. So here you can see Discord HCAPTCHA. So you have to see the version of the CAPTCHA that the website uses. And as you can see here, for $3, you can get 334 solutions. So I think this means that you can bypass this CAPTCHA 334 times. Anyway, if you use 2CAPTCHA or anti-CAPTCHA, then you can integrate this with Python. So here I have the the code that I need to use to integrate this with Python. First, I need to install the 2CAPTCHA Python library, and then I have to copy and paste this code. And here I have the code that helps me connect to the API of 2CAPTCHA. And this is very simple, you can do it on your own, or use this script as a template. I'm gonna leave this script in the description, by the way. Okay, once you have this template, we only need to do two things on the website that we want to bypass the CAPTCHA. We have first to get the side key, and then we have to send the CAPTCHA key to the form of the website. So I'm gonna explain to you how to do this. So first I'm going to one of the websites. In this case, I'm gonna use the CAPTCHA on the Google website. And well, here I'm gonna right click and press on inspect. And first we have to get the side key. And to get the side key, we only have to press Control F and write side key. So probably you're gonna find something that says data hyphen side key or something like that. You only need to get this side key that contains the key that we need to send to to captcha or anti captcha so they can solve the captcha for us. So basically these companies have people that manually solve our captchas and they need the side key. So we send them the side key and then once they solve the, the captcha, they send us back the captcha key. And we need this captcha key to bypass the captcha that we see on the website. So first we need this, uh, this side key and well, we need only to copy this and paste it. But if you want to automate this with Selenium, what you have to do is locate this HTML element. And to do this with Selenium, what we have to do is write the following. So we have to write a driver, then that, and then find element. Then we have to use the one of the elements that we see here. In this case, I'm gonna use the ID, and the ID has the reCAPTCHA demo. So here, ID, then value, and then reCAPTCHA demo. So to get that key, we have to use the get attribute function. And in the get attribute, we have to specify the name of the attribute. In this case, data hyphen side key. So I write get attribute and then data hyphen side key. And with this, I get the key of the site. So I'm gonna create a variable named side key equal to this. And then I'm gonna print the side key so we can see how it looks. Okay, after that, we have to generate an API key. And to do that, we have to go to the website of 2Captcha or Anti-Captcha or whatever service you're using. And then we have to generate the API key. And once you have your API key, you have to initiate an instance of 2Captcha. And well, I'm named this as Solver. And then you have to uh, indicate which kind of CAPTCHA you want to use. And 2Captcha has different types of CAPTCHA. I'm gonna show you here. Uh, all the types of CAPTCHA that you can use. Here you have normal CAPTCHA or text CAPTCHA or reCAPTCHA version two, version three, H CAPTCHA and more. And well, I just click here, reCAPTCHA V2 and I copied this. So here we have to give the side key and the side key is inside this variable. Then we have to give also the the URL of the website. And in this case, this is the URL of the website. And that's pretty much it. Then we get a response. And in this response, we have different elements. And the element that we want is the code. So this is the code of the CAPTCHA key. And this is the code that we have to use to bypass the CAPTCHA. And that's pretty much it. And by the way, here, 
at the beginning of this script, I'm using again a detected Chrome driver. And well, that's pretty much it. Now we only need to send the captcha key to the form. And well, to do this, what we have to do is go back to this website. And here we need to look for a text area. So for we need to look for an input where we can send this this uh, captcha key. And there are different ways to find this this text area or this input. You can simply write text area and sometimes it will return uh, this captcha. So in this case, it helped me, but in some other cases, it might not help you. And what you can write also besides text area is the word uh, recaptcha. So if your if the captcha that you're seeing is a recaptcha, you only have to write something like recaptcha, and you're gonna see the text area where you're supposed to send the captcha key. So that's another way to find it. And well, once you find this text area that is here, what we have to do is send the captcha key to this element. And actually, it took me some time to figure out how to send this captcha key to the text area. I was trying to send this with the send keys function that we have on Selenium, but it didn't work. So what I did was go to ChatGPT and ask how to send captcha, a captcha key with Selenium. And ChatGPT gave me two solutions. The first was the solution that I was trying before and that I explained you. It, the solution was using the send keys, but this didn't work. And ChatGPT fortunately gave me another solution and this one worked. And this one is using the execute script function. So I only had to copy this and then paste it here. And that's pretty much it. So if I didn't have chat GPT, I wouldn't be able to do it or probably it would have taken me so much time. And well, basically what we do here is uh, execute a JavaScript uh, code, I think. I'm not an expert on JavaScript, I don't know so much. But what I do know is that here we're finding the element using an ID. And the ID is here. So I can find the ID of this text area element here. So the ID is G recapture response. We only have to copy this and paste it here. So G recapture response. And then we have to introduce the value of that captcha key. And this value is right here. So I, I told you that we're gonna get a response and then we have to struct the code. So we have to copy this code and paste it here. So instead of captcha key, we have this. And with this, everything should be ready. So after we do this, we uh, should be able to pass the captcha. So in some websites, we only have to pass the captcha. In other websites, we have to do some action after we pass the captcha. In this case, we have to press on the submit button. But on Discord, I think you only have to pass the captcha. And if you're on, on, on chat, I think you have to pass the captcha and then introduce your email address and your password. But anyway, here I'm going to create the XPath that gets the submit element. And well, here we're using the driver to find the element. And here's the XPath that I created before. So we only have to click on this submit button and with this we're going to pass the captcha. But as I told you before, we don't need to do this in some other websites with a with sending the captcha, it should be enough. So now that this is ready, I'm gonna run this and see if we successfully bypass this captcha. But before doing this, I'm gonna add a wait using the time module so the window won't automatically close. So here, time that sleep, and here, 100. So I avoid the window automatically closing. So with this, should be enough. And I'm gonna run this and see what happens. So I'm running this script. Now it's gonna open this window and we have here the captcha. And if we go to the right, we see that we got the side key and now it's solving the captcha. Let's just give it some seconds. And now we can see that we successfully bypassed the captcha. And well, we did this using the two captcha uh, service and also ChatGPT helped me sending the captcha key to the form. And by the way, ChatGPT can also help you generate code to scrape websites. In case you'd like to know how to do it, check this video where I use ChatGPT to scrape Amazon and Twitter. And that's it, I'll see you on the next video.